Steve, uh, we had our first show on a Sunday for a long time, mate. Uh, and uh, one of those really shows that you need, just keep all the lads busy. But we had a few good performances. To be fair, we, really, I wasn't expecting a lot. But um, we did it to, to, to get people out and keep them busy, as, as we've been doing for 30 years. And as like I said before that, there's not many people who do, do what what we do, if any, but uh, it turned out nice Sunday afternoon it was. and uh, it, there was no no stress and, and, it, and it went swimmingly, didn't it? It did. Run, run to time and everything. So the, the first fight was Ellis Ward against Josh Morris. So Ellis Ward's not with us. Um, but looked very good. He uh, trained by uh, Wayne Woods and I think he's managed by Kevin Marie and uh, I even fair play to Conor Lawrence, um, one of our VIP lads, because we, we kind of said he could have jumped on if he wanted, but he said, look, Ellis has been let down that many times, he's nearly close to, to jacking, so he said, you know, I'll take another slot somewhere else, get get him out, he's desperate to get out, he should have been fighting on the show, he was cancelled uh, on Sunday, so, uh, you know, as I say, prop, props for Conor for allowing him to there, but he managed to get his debut, and... Uh, you know, to be fair, Josh, Josh Morris, uh, never seen him before. No. Um, we had a, a few away kids who were new to us, didn't we? And yeah. uh, that was good on, on on Sunday. But, you know, Ellis Ward looks like he's got all the moves and tricks and uh, it was a good debut for him. Josh Morris, obviously a, a tough lad, took a bit of past him and, and did fight back a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, wasn't a bad opening one. And then, uh, again, another kid who was Lewis Molyneux. Um, he's fought on our shows before and sold bundles of tickets, but didn't do on this one because he only got a week's notice. You know, like yeah. our card was falling apart. He'd been um, let down for the job in London, so he jumped on on a week's notice. And uh, to be fair, Garth knew, again, he was another kid, uh, tough, I think he's a South African living in Wales, um, come come and did all right, you know what I mean? He took a bit of pasty the first couple of rounds, but three and four, I think he'd warmed up and got into it, never in danger, and, and, and threw a few shots back. So uh, he's definitely one that I'll invite again because, uh, you know, um, he yeah, didn't just test. stand there and take his punishment. You know, he, he fought back and uh, that's what you want. And again, in the, the third fight, our lad Ellis Grant against Jacob Marra, uh, Irish yeah, kid. Yeah, the Irish kid. You know, did look at Irish dog, didn't he? Hey, do you know what? When you look at, at what they do, these journeymen, you can't help but respect them. And that Garth Knotts got up in a car in Wales and drove up with his, his family and Smogger's jumped in his car and he's got in and drove home. Yeah. This guy come over with his train on the, on the flight from uh, Dublin in the morning and then rushed off afterwards to fly straight back, you know, it's brilliant what they do and, and to be fair, you know, it said 40-35 and uh, he went over, but I think it was more of a push that, that put him over, but oh, so um, it was a bit of a shot as well. He, he, um, he stuck in there with Ellis, didn't he? He made he did. Ellis work and, you know, that, that was a good fight for Ellis, he come through comfortably. Well, it was his second southpaw, wasn't it? And I mm. thought he'd learn from the first southpaw that he fought. Yeah. And he was very dominant, used his backhand well and good left Yeah, touch. yeah, yeah. And um, as I say, he, he, he moves on to, is it three or four and all now? Uh, Ellis, yeah. Four and all now. Yeah. yeah, so he's, he's, had, he's had a good year out. Then Jamie Devine against Simmers Follasas, who we've seen over here, uh, he, he, he gave him a right beating. How, how Simos managed know, to get mate. through, I, I'll never know. Um, you know, four, four, really round, four money, rounds of hell for him. And, you know, yeah. I think Jamie was that quick with his feet that he couldn't hold on like he normally does, doesn't he? He normally <laughs> just rushes you and, and, and holds on and, and gets through without too much damage. But no, he, 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 he took a, a lot of punishment. Earned his on, money, uh, didn't he, mate? Yeah, 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 and uh, as I say, Jamie will be wondering how we didn't stop him because he can punch, so he's he he like, uh, it's not as though you're saying, oh, he's passed him up because he's not a puncher, he, 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 he's, he's given him a, a right beating and, uh, you know, the kid's done really well getting through. And then uh, Kurt Wiggins against Eric Omar Lopez. Um, again, Eric he's come easy, in he? and, you know, he was a really good Fight one of years ago, fought for the world title. Yeah. At, 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 I think a fly or super fly. Now he's taking these kids, kids around and Give learning a the trick or two. And uh, he, he did the same with Curtis on. Um, I didn't think he was as Thunder. close as the scorecard said, though. No, no, he's no, always no, dangerous, but Lopez. He, but yeah, only a small little burst in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, listen, that was an interesting fight. And then we moved up to a couple of six rounders. Uh, 
Ryan Dickens, Conor Mean, well... I enjoyed um, that, you know. I was expecting it to be um, a lot more competitive because we've seen Conor Mean well before, but yeah. uh, I think Ryan put him in his box from, from early doors and eventually stopped. Stopped him in the six, you know. Um, it looked like he was going to stop him in the fourth and fifth as well, though. You know, uh, that was yeah, well, that is, was a good, yeah, yeah, really that, good performance that, by that, uh, that Connor. Um, seemed to tired a bit sooner than you'd expect from him, didn't you? You know, mm. um, but, but see that jab of uh, young Ryan Dickens is is quite a tool, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a real yeah. stiff, solid jab and. He throws it for fun, doesn't he? Yeah, so. well, it's Ryan's first stoppage as well, so that'll give yeah. him a, a little more belief. He's buzzing afterwards, he's, mate. He's kind of moving up a little bit now. I think that uh, loss that he suffered mm. against uh, Serge and then he mm. come back with the 50-50 fight with uh, Conor Goulding, uh, he's really changed him. Yeah, well, he's only a young kid, isn't he? So he's got plenty of times. But no, it was, it, it was good. And uh, the last fight of the night, um, Jake Barton against Owick, obviously... Um, End of round one, Owen Kirk didn't come out and dislocated his shoulder, so that kind of took a little bit of the, the pinch of the show, well. you know what I mean? We wanted to finish with a, a good ending, but unfortunate things like that happen in boxing, don't you? You've got to live with it, but you know, we take it away. Obviously, we, we, we lost a few few quid, but you know, uh, I think, uh, well, I hope that the lads appreciate that we, we do the show. I know we've done it before in Liverpool and kids have moved on, and you know, that's, that's just the way, way it is, you know, I mean, some people are ungrateful, some people aren't, but uh, no, uh, we did it, it wasn't a bad show, and we move on to next week at the um, new yes, venue, sir. the hideout in Farnworth, and then the week after we're up in uh, Sunderland, so I'll catch up with the end of this week, Lee, and tell you yeah. what we're doing that one, and then... And we uh, have got some good uh, title fights coming up further on. Uh, yeah, year, yeah, we? yeah, we've just four title later. fights that will be made for a couple of shows, so we, we've got a couple of a good, big banging... Uh, events to go out with and we've got a press release going out t t tomorrow which is going to tell you about a few things that we we we're doing in 2025 as well so uh, yeah we're on we're on the way up mate no no problems there nice one steve Thank see you later mate bye. bye bye for all boxing info news and latest interviews amateur and pro across and off click and subscribe vip boxing promotions also twitter instagram and facebook